Hurricane Dorian hit Marsh Harbor in the Bahamas as a Category 5 storm, and the damage done is just devastating. The dangerous storm also proving to be deadly. CBS 4's Mike Cuno is live in studio now with the latest. Mike. Yeah, Laura, and these videos are tough to watch, but they're giving us a sense of what it's been like in the Bahamas over the last 24 hours. Homes and businesses destroyed. One death has already been reported and others missing as Hurricane Dorian continues to hover over the islands. Hurricane Dorian's slow move over the Bahamas has been catastrophic. The storm punishing the islands with high winds, storm surge, and lightning. The National Hurricane Center reporting gusts of 220 miles per hour. Please pray for us. Please pray for us, everyone. Please pray for us. In this video, a mother's chilling cry for help. Posts on social media have shown just how high the water is getting. Homes turned inside out and parents in Abaco holding onto their kids. It's believed videos like these were shot inside the eye, giving residents a sense of what they've lost. Baby car seat. We need help. Please, someone, please come help us. But nothing hurts more than the loss of life. So far, one reported death by Bahamas Press. Seven-year-old Aquino McIntosh drowned last night. His sister is still missing. Meanwhile, families have submitted these photos to Bahamas Press. A growing number of the missing as Dorian's slow assault of Abaco and Grand Bahama continues at a snail's pace. People trying to make it to the other side with this white um, houses, but some people, um, the water just took them. Bahamian Prime Minister Hubert Minnis says the focus on the island is rescue, recover, and prayer, calling the devastation in Abaco unprecedented. Live in studio, Mike Cunio, CBS 4 News.